Today's student tutorial is focused on the project wizard, along with an explanation of type 3 projects. Has your teacher assigned you to complete a project on a particular topic? Or maybe something has really gotten you excited and you want to create a project on it just because. Because you want to learn more about it. Because you are motivated to create a way to share this information with other people. Either way, where do you begin? How do you proceed? Look no further than the Renzulli Learning Project Wizard to keep you organized and pave the way. Sometimes your teacher may have sent you the project, either in a group or to you directly. Sometimes you have the opportunity and the responsibility to create the project yourself, often called Genius Hour or Passion Project. In the Renzulli world, we call them a Type 3 investigation. Either way, in the Project Wizard, you, the student, get to drive. The Project Wizard is designed to provide students with independence and allows you to edit and revise the project along the way. Of course, you'll need to be sure you know how much your teacher will allow you to make changes to the expectations of the project if it's assigned. As of this recording, Renzulli Learning is excited to introduce our all-new Beta Project Wizard, which means it's released in the system for you to try out and help us to continue to make it better. So let's give it a roll, shall we? Are you logged in? Click the My Projects button from wherever you may be in Renzulli Learning. You can work on a project you've already started, or you can start a new one, either from the Create Your Own Project button or by selecting a Super Starter Project to help you get started. Here, you can filter by interest areas and grade levels. Click the Add to My Project when you find one you like. Now, we are going to click Beta Project Wizard. Alternatively, you can go to your Groups page and click Group Work to work on a project that has been assigned or started within a collaborative group. Starting from the Groups page, you'll be directly into the Beta Project Wizard. Notice the Beta Project Wizard includes five steps. Plan, find, create, test, and share. At the bottom, or the end of your project, you'll have an opportunity to reflect on your process and product. As you click on each color bar, the section will open up for you. Click first on Plan. Here you'll see all the sections of the original Project Wizard to help you think through the various aspects of the project and to plan it out. Read the directions in each section carefully as you proceed through them. You're able to go back and make changes at any time. Project Description Write a brief description of the project, problem, topic, or interest area that you want to learn about and study. What do you hope to find out or learn? If this is assigned, you can elaborate on your own specific focus here. You can check and uncheck interest areas here, and if this is a group project, you'll see your peers' responses below. Notice that each section includes a very simple text editor. You can change your font, settings, color, add a bullet or numbered list, change alignment, insert a table, make hyperlinks, add images and videos, and click the arrows to make the box full screen so you can see all of your text at once. And if you're a coder, you can even view your text in code. Notice that the text is being saved automatically. Click Save and go to Next to proceed through the plan phase. Getting started. What are the first steps you should take to begin your work? What types of information do you need to find in order to do your work? Where will you get the information you need? What questions do you have that you need answered in order to start your work? What help do you need from your teacher or parents? List that information here. Your Super Starter Projects will have some suggested links for you here to begin learning more about your topic. Save and go to Next. Project Dates. Some dates may already be assigned by your teacher. For a long-term project, it's suggested that you plan review dates to meet with your teacher to be sure you're on track and to help guide you. Save and go to Next. Intended Product. What form or format will the final project take? 
How, when, and where will you share and communicate the results of your project with other people? In what ways will you share your work? Examples are competition, online magazine, art show, performance, science fair, you name it. Think about your preferred expression styles. Save and go to next. Intended audience. Who would be most interested in your work or project? Consider organized groups like clubs, organizations, societies, or teams at the local, state, regional, and national levels and list them here. Also consider contests, places where your work might be displayed or published, and websites that include work done in your area of study. Include contact names, phone numbers, addresses, and email along with meeting times and locations. Some examples are product night, other classes in your school, board of education, PTO, or even senior centers. This is the end of the plan phase, so you can print if you'd like, and then close the window. The next phase is find. Add your project resources here, including Renzuli Learning Database resources, uploaded files, books, photos, videos, and outside web links that will help you with your work. Your personal inventory is on the top row and resources added by your group are in the bottom row. Simply click on Add or the number of any resource type to locate and add resources to your inventory. In RL resources, you can add from your favorites collection or you can go ahead and search right from this window. When you locate a resource you want to include, click Add to Project. Do you have a print or ebook for your project? Go ahead and enter the information under Books. You can also upload text or PDF files as well as photos and videos here. Under Web Links, include other online sources that may not be available in Renzuli Learning, such as an encyclopedia or database that your school has a subscription to. Knowing where your information comes from is very important to give proper credit to your sources and to avoid plagiarism. After adding a resource, you should create a citation for it by clicking the yellow quotation marks. Enter as much information as you can find for each of your resources. What does your teacher want you to put in the annotation field? A suggestion is to note how you found that resource or how you intend to use it for your project. When you start adding note cards, these citations will come in very handy. Notice the additional resources section. Here you can type in and link to anything that doesn't fit into a category above, including people you might interview or mentor under, along with their contact details companies or organizations you wish to contact, as well as any materials you need to gather for your product. As you gather and begin to interact with your resources, you'll be building your schema, your background knowledge, about your topic. As you learn more, start to narrow down your topic so that you really focus in on something, like a real-world problem that you can develop original ideas for. For example, studying habitats is much too broad. Oceans is better, but still a huge topic. But saving coral reefs is more manageable and allows you to zero in on specific resources and information as you try to solve the problem. Feel free to go back to your plan to make any additional changes as needed. Let's move on to note cards. Once you have your specific topic in mind, it's time to start taking notes. Your teacher may provide you with specific directions on how he or she would like you to take notes. 
In the Find section, you'll see a place to add note cards as you start working with your resources. Give each note card a specific subject to help you stay organized and find your information later. Each resource can have many note cards. Break down the information into small, workable chunks. Remember to attach the proper citation to each note card. On to create. It's time to put your plan into action. You've done the research and gained the skills and built your inventory. Now's the time to bring it all together. Head back to plan to reflect on your intended product and intended audience sections. As you consider how best to pull together your project, use the editor below to develop your original ideas, draft your text, and describe your final product. It's okay to make revisions to your original plan for your final product here based on the research and materials you've gathered. Don't forget to use Find to pull from your inventory and additional resources as you begin to create. So consider this. What text do you need to draft? Are you creating a written document? Maybe display board paragraphs? You might need display board or slideshow captions. How about a narrative story or a play script? Are you writing a documentary script? Maybe you could try a TED Talk monologue. Whatever you need to draft, here is your place to think it through. An important part of research in developing your ideas to create a product is to test and revise. Test is your opportunity to check your work against the expectations of your teacher or even yourself. If you've created a prototype or invention of some kind, how will you test it? What will you go back to fix or adapt? If you've accomplished some great research, how are you being evaluated? Your teacher may have given you a rubric, may have attached the Renzulli Student Product Assessment Form, or you can use the linked Type 3 rubric, which you can download as a Word file. This can be edited in Microsoft Word or uploaded to Google Docs. As you evaluate your work, go back to any sections of the Project Wizard that need a little more effort. Are you ready to share? Congratulations, you've completed and revised your project and now it's time to share your project with your chosen audience. Don't forget to upload a photo of your project or the product itself. Reconsider who would be most interested in your work or project. Is it eligible for competition, contest, or publication? Check the Renzulli database for something you may have missed or was recently added. In the text box, describe your experience sharing your project. Who did you share with? How did it go? You may also include links to the final product here if you have posted it somewhere else, for instance on YouTube or Powtoon. In the product showcase, you have space to upload any photo, video, or other files related to your finished product. When you are all finished with your research, creation, and sharing, it's time to take a moment to reflect on your process and your product. Answer the questions and click save at the bottom. If this was your first time through a type three project, whether you call it genius hour or passion project, it may feel a little different, even hard, because it's new to you and maybe you're being given the opportunity to be more independent. As you practice with research, it will get easier and easier for you and you'll find yourself digging deeper, analyzing more and wanting to create different products. Or maybe you'll want to hone your skills on a particular product type, such as web development or documentary creation. The chance to study whatever you want, even if it's within the context of a particular subject area, can be a magical experience. Run with it and enjoy.